All right, so check it out. So this is a box I made, I don't know, three weeks ago maybe? And I don't know if you'd call it really a box per se, considering it's uh, it's not really a box. <laughs> uh, so what I got here is basically a synth that is controlled by two Arduino Nanos. The power is bust from one to the other and then two 4046s being used as um, basically VCOs. So you'll notice in one of them I have the capacitor here and the other one I have it over here. Just allow me to change it. Um, one's kind of set up more traditional, one's kind of set up more experimental. But um, you know, it makes some cool sounds and it doesn't have a back it's an open air project because it's hard making a complete enclosure but I like this little design that you could just like do this that was really easy to do this I mean this is four pieces of wood nailed together and another piece of wood drilled right into there so that is really easy to do it's creating the whole shell that's a little hard to make so anyway, let's do a little demonstration here. So the Arduino Nanos are Chinese knockoffs, and I probably spent $2 each on them, maybe? Give or take with shipping. Uh, I bought them in a bundle, so I, I have a lot more ready to rumble. Um, the code for the Arduino was written by somebody else. I didn't write it myself. And so then I have the same code running on two Arduinos and that is controlling, so this is the Arduino controls first one and the second one and those are running down into the 4046's uh, one of them is a capacitance switch one of them is a glide switch um, basic um, you know, I kinda forget what they do since it's been a while, but I think one of them controls the resistance on pins ooh, 10 and 11 I think or maybe 11 and 12 and one of them controls like a capacitor to ground on the output something really simple yet extremely effective when it came to shaping the sounds and the yellow knobs are my blends <clears throat> so first I have all digital here on the right so all Arduino and then all 4046 being fed by the Arduino on the control voltage pin on pin 9 uh, and so duplicate that twice and then over here is just the Arduino 2 or you know <laughs> Arduino 4046 1 and Arduino 4046 2 so you have your left and your right essentially and then that is bust right out to the output so let's give this a uh, sucker a run and you know me even though I do audio for a living professionally, I still just kind of get things done the easiest way possible. So, just using this little microphone in the camera here. So, so this is all digital output. A lot of fun frequency modulation. Then we can go, this is all digital, go over to the, whoa, the analog side. It's a little hot. This is all this, the 4046. And you can blend between them, which I always like to do. To the other side. Let's start with the digital. This is what this patch is making over here. To the 4046. This is definitely that capacitor size. It's 
So, one side of this, uh, the 4046 reacts kind of not so friendly to the control voltage input or the Arduino. And it's not even a real control voltage input. It's a straight up audio output right into pin 9. And then this side reacts a little bit more, uh, just reacts a little bit more. I'll show you. So here we go. All 4046. See? Some reaction there. Versus this guy. You know, not as much. And I've never been able to really figure out why. But this one loves it. Fun stuff, huh? So, 4046 is being fed by uh, Arduino Nanos running a freeware patch. Not too shabby, eh? Fun times, good idea. We'll see how long this thing survives as it's an open air device. All right, let's turn it off and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Chill.